good morning everybody hope you are all fine uh, we are going to start our uh, course for this semester our course code is cet203 that means civil engineering theory second semester and third subject okay so our course code is cet203 and our course is fluid mechanics and hydraulics we are going to start our module 1 and as all of you know i am bina mol assistant professor department of civil engineering lbs college of engineering kasaragod now before starting our subject let us have a small look into our syllabus into the module 1 of our syllabus okay i have given you uh, yesterday i told you uh, what we are going to study in all the five modules today we will see what our syllabus say about the module 1 so module 1 we are going to study the introduction to the subject that means what is fluid mechanics and what is hydraulics then we will be studying fluid properties so there are many fluid properties and among them we are going to study only four fluid properties that is mass density specific weight viscosity and specific gravity we are not going to study the remaining properties only these four properties there are some other properties also like surface tension capillarity compressibility and all so we are given uh, for us it is given to study mass density specific weight viscosity specific gravity then we will study the classification of a fluid so how the fluid is classified based on the properties based on the viscosity property mainly based on the viscosity property now then after that you will be studying fluid statics that is a variation of pressure in a fluid you have already studied engineering mechanics so what you will be studying in engineering mechanics is you will be studying the mechanics of rigid bodies so there you will study the variation of forces since it is a rigid body you will study the variation of a forces here since it is a fluid body you will be studying the variation of pressure so for fluid the parallel term to force is pressure then you will study the measurement of a fluid pressure using piezometers and manometers how will you measure the fluid pressure so piezometers and manometers are the measuring instruments are the instruments used to measure the pressure of a fluid and among them you will be studying youtube manometers there are some more manometers like differential youtube manometers and many others so we will study differential youtube manometers also then after that you will be studying forces on immersed plane placed vertical and inclined position when you are placing a body or when you are placing when your fluid is flowing on an plane surface and when the plane surface is immersed immersed both vertically as well as in the inclined position what will be the forces what will be the pressure what will be the variation of pressure then on curved surfaces also so vertical inclined positions curved surfaces so three cases of variation of pressure and last you will be studying the practical application of total pressure on spillway gates see so what we have studied is the variation of pressure so you will be applying it for spillway gates we will see it in detail right so now today we are going to study introduction to the subject i will highlight it so today we are going to study introduction to the hmm. to 
today we will be studying introduction to the subject as well as the fluid properties except viscosity we will study the remaining fluid properties that is mass density weight density and specific volume so let us see one by one first is introduction to the subject so we know fluid mechanics what is fluid mechanics first of all we are going to study what is fluid mechanics so fluid mechanics is the branch of science which deals with the behavior of fluids so fluids is composed of both liquids and gases so it is the study of the behavior of fluids at rest as well as in motion when we say at rest it is called fluid statics and when we say in motion it is called fluid dynamics or fluid kinematics okay so it is the combination of both liquids and gases so mainly we are civil engineer we deal with hydraulic structures so we are going to study about the properties of liquids and not gases so the aerodynamic engineers mechanical engineers they concentrate on gases also so we as civil engineers we concentrate on liquids now this fluid mechanics deals with statics kinematics and dynamic aspects of fluids so that means the fluids at rest as well as fluids in motion okay now what is hydraulics it is the branch of science concerned with the practical applications of fluids primarily liquids in motion so see in the initial part of your syllabus you will be studying your fluid mechanics and gradually you will be applying these properties or apply the concept of fluid mechanics for practical purposes when you use it practically you will call it as hydraulic or hydraulic applications applications of the construction of dams tanks channels etc now so hydraulics deals with such matters as the flow of liquids in pipes rivers channels and their confinement by dams and tanks so practical application you apply it for practical use we will call it as hydraulics fluid mechanics provides the theoretical foundation for hydraulics okay so fluid mechanics is theoretical hydraulics is practical now what is fluid statics it is the study of fluids at rest fluid kinematics is the study of fluids in motion where the pressure forces are not considered see kinetics means pressure forces are considered kinematics pressure forces are not considered now fluid dynamics it is also known as kinetics it is the study of fluids in motion where the pressure forces are also considered now we will go on for the properties of fluids so first property is density or mass density now what do you mean by density so it is represented by rho we symbolically represent this density as rho so mass density rho is equal to m by v m is the mass so we are dealing with fluid so m is the mass of the fluid and v is the volume of the fluid and the si unit for density is kilogram per meter cube because mass is expressed in kilogram and volume is expressed as meter cube because distance into distance into distance so the unit for volume is meter cube unit for mass is kilogram so our si unit is kilogram per meter cube now see this is in general for a fluid so for a liquid it is mass of the liquid by volume of the liquid 
now this density is constant for liquids why it is constant for liquid see if you take a liquid and if you measure the liquid the mass of the liquid is not changing if you take a particular volume of for example if you are buying some milk you are buying a 1 liter of milk okay so the mass of the milk do not change as well as the volume of the milk do not change that means mass by volume is constant it is not changing you uh, so the uh, rho is our density so rho is constant for liquids now if you consider the gases with respect to the temperature and pressure when you when you vary the temperature you heat it we know the gases the density of the gas will be when we heat the density of the gas reduces because when we heat a gas the volume of the gas increases alle appo nammale ore gas ne heat cheyumba adha nammal padichittullathu ore gas ne nammal heat cheyumbo idinde volume aanengi increase aayi povu that means mass remains this for a particular mass when you increase the temperature or pressure pressure allengi temperature nammal increase cheyanengi or decrease cheyanengi ningada volume of the gas either increase cheyum allengi decrease cheyum so that means the rho that is density changes with the variation of temperature and pressure for gases now density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cube this is mass density right mass density is 1 gram per centimeter cube or 1000 kg per meter cube if you are taking 1 centimeter cube you will have 1 gram of water and if you are taking a meter cube you will have 1000 kg of water that is the meaning of that okay so mass of water is 1000 kg per meter cube or 1 gram per centimeter okay now we will see what is weight density or specific weight so weight density is represented by omega we know weight is mass into acceleration due to gravity so density is mass by volume so weight density is weight by volume nothing but weight by volume so we know weight is equal to mass into gravity so m into g divided by volume b so it is nothing but weight of the fluid by volume of the fluid if it is for uh, liquid it is weight of the liquid by volume of the liquid now so mass by volume is represented by rho so weight density is equal to rho multiplied by g rho into g so this is mass density into acceleration due to gravity and the si unit for density is newton per meter cube because the unit for weight is newton unit for weight is newton unit for volume is meter cube so we get the si unit for it's not actually density it is weight density so si unit for de weight density or specific weight is newton per meter cube now we know the value for acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meter per second square this is acceleration unit for acceleration is meter per second square so the weight density of water is rho multiplied by g rho is 1000 we know the weight density of water is when we are taking 1 meter cube it is 1000 kg so 1000 multiplied by 9.81 we get 9810 newton per meter cube now we will see the next property that is specific volume so it is represented by 1 by rho what do you mean by 1 by rho we know rho is the mass density so specific volume is nothing but the reciprocal of mass density 
okay it's a reciprocal of mass density so specific volume we represent it as 1 by rho so mass density is mass by volume so we take its reciprocal we get 1 by mass by volume so it is nothing but volume by mass so volume by mass volume of the fluid by mass of the fluid now sa unit for density is meter cube per kilogram so for volume it is meter cube for mass it is kilogram now we will see the last property today one more property is there that we will see in the next uh, after two classes so next is specific gravity specific gravity is represented by s so s is equal to it is the ratio of weight density of a fluid to the weight density of standard fluid okay so weight density of the given fluid the ratio of weight density of the given fluid to the weight density of standard fluid so normally the standard fluid is taken as water in generally general cases or it is weight density or simply the density or mass density of the fluid by mass density of standard fluid so for liquids it is weight density of the liquid by weight density of the standard liquid or mass density of the liquid by mass density of the standard liquid so today we saw what is fluid mechanics what is uh, hydraulics then we saw about the properties of uh, fluids and in the properties we saw what is mass density we saw what is uh, specific weight or weight density then we saw about the specific volume and at last we saw the so specific volume was 1 by rho and we saw about specific gravity that is s and one more property is left in your syllabus that is viscosity so before going to viscosity we will uh, look forward we will do some problems on these properties after that we will go for viscosity so today the classes is over tomorrow we will do some problems so after completing the problems on these properties we will go on for we will move on for the next property called the viscosity so till then thank you stay blessed and we will meet in the next class